I will start. Today I am here with Factors Class Part 2. In Part 2, we are going to learn Rules of Divisibility. Welcome to Mirbas Vision. objective of this class. In this class, let's learn rules of divisibility. In this video, we are going to learn the divisibility rules of 2, 5, 10, 3 and 9. Okay. Now let's learn what are rules of divisibility and why do we learn it. The rules of divisibility will help you to find out which number divide others without leaving any remainder? We learn, also we can say, we learn the rules of divisibility also because it helps us find factors easily. That is the benefit of learning divisibility Rules Okay Divisible number A number is divisible by another If on dividing the remainder is zero if the remainder is 0, the number is divisible by the number dividing. Okay. So, here we can see two examples. First, let's do this example. Okay. Here we can see 28 divided by 4. In the 4 table, where it only check the product, where is 28 coming? I found it. 4 7 are. So, uh, the down part, let's write 28. And in the quotient, let's write 7. Quotient means the answer in division. Okay. Now, let's subtract this 28 and 28. 2 minus 2, 0. 8 minus 8, 0. That means 0, 0. Now, in this, Q means quotient, R means remainder. Remainder means the leftover in division. Understood? So, if the remainder is 0, 28 is divisible by 4. So, what do you say? Exactly, it is divisible. Here, 28 is divisible by 4. Why? The remainder is 0. You can see the remainder has 0 here. Understood? Okay. Now let's check example 2. 28 divided by 3. In the 3 times table, where is 28 coming? Mm. No, I didn't find it. But I found 27. 
So we should write 27. So in the down part I wrote 27. And in the quotient I wrote 9 because 3 9s are 27. Okay. Now let's subtract. 2 minus 2 is 0. But 8 minus 7 is 1. This is the, the upper part is the quotient, 9 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. Here 28 is not divisible by 3. Why? Because the remainder is not 0. Here we can see 1. So it is not divisible. This is the difference between both examples. Understood? Okay. Now let's learn the divisibility rule of 2. Okay. Here we can see the multiplication table and Yes, here the title is here. Okay. So, now you can see in this multiplication table 2, 4, 6, 8. Then, don't take this one, one, this one and this two. Do not look. Only look the one's place of the product okay so we can say um, I will take a 10 here this should not come um, see this number should not come then if we erase it again we can see 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. It is continuing. Understood? See, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. That's why I am saying. Okay. Now the rule of 2 is like this. If the digit in the ones place of a number is even, such as 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then the number is divisible by 2. With some example, let's understand how to look by using the divisibility rule. Okay. The first example is 70. Is 70 divisible by 2? Let's check. The rules say that in the 1's place, see, here, here in the 1's place we can see 0 and in the 10's place we can see 7. So, this is the 1's place. Where 0 is C, that is the 1's place. Understood? So, is it divisible by 2? Yeah, the rule says that 2, 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 should come in the 1's place of a number. So, yes, it is divisible. Okay. Coming to the next example. Example number 2. 94. Is 94 divisible by 2? 9. 4. So we should look in the 1's place. And we can see 4. The rule says that this number should come in the 1 place. So again it is divisible. Now, are you understanding the concept? 
Okay, go to the next example. 58. Is 58 this divisible? Exactly, yes. Okay. Next example is 99. Is 99 divisible? Mm, no. No, it is not divisible because 9 is coming in the ones place. Now I think so you understand how to look the with the divisibility rule. Okay? And the examples also we can see and the difference between the number that are divisible and the number that are not divisible. Understood? Okay, I think so. You understand divisibility rule of 2 coming to divisibility rule of 5. Here we can see the multiplication table of 5. Now, now we can see a 5. Then, if you just cut off the tens place of the product, like this, like this if you cut off the tens place number you could find five zero five zero five zero like so on so the rule of five is if the digit in the ones place of a number is zero or 5, the number is divisible by 5. Okay, they are saying, in the ones place, if 0 or 5 comes, then it is divisible. So, with some example, let's understand. Example 1, 70. Is it divisible? Yes, because in the ones place, 0 is coming. Next example. 95. Is 95 divisible? Yes, because 5 is coming in the ones place. Next example. 50. Is 50 divisible? Let's check. Yes, it is divisible because 0 is coming. Are you understanding this concept? Okay, I think so you are understanding. Go to the next example. 98. Is it divisible? No, because 8 is coming. The rule says that 0 or 5 should come in the ones place of the number. So, that is no. Okay, in this also, I think so, you understand the difference from this examples. Now, we have learned the divisibility rule of 2 and 5. Going to the next divisibility rule. That is divisibility rule of 10. Okay. In this, here we can see the table of 10. Now, if again, if we cut off the number in the 10th place, 10th place, see like this. Again you can see here in the ones place 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so on. So the rule of 10 is 
One second. If the digit in the ones place of a number is zero, the number is divisible by ten. In the ones place zero should come, then it is divisible by ten. So let's check the examples. First example seventy. Yes, it is divisible. Going to the next example. Ninety. Is ninety divisible? Again. Yes. Fifty. Is it divisible? Again. Yes. Are you understanding the divisibility rule of ten? Should I repeat? Oh, I think so. You are understanding. Okay. The next example is sixty-eight. Is it divisible, friends? Is it divisible? No, because here eight is coming. In the rule, they are saying zero should come, and here eight is coming. So, no. Okay, we have learned. Two divisibility rule of two, five and ten. Going to the next divisibility rule. Yes, before that, there is a not to not. That is, a number ending in zero is divisible by five, ten and two. For example, let's take eighty. If we take eighty, see the rule of five was five or zero should come in the ones place of the number. The rule of ten was zero should come in the one place. So this two are divisible. Go into two. The rule of two was zero, two, four, six. Eight or eight should come in the ones place of the number. So now you understand that eight is divisible. That's why they are saying that, friends. That's why they are saying zero should zero if the number ending in zero is divisible. Sorry, a number ending in the zero. Is divisible by five, ten, and two. Okay, okay, very good. Now going to the next divisibility rule. That is the divisibility rule of three. Now the table is here. But something went changed. Now we can see three six nine. Then all are two digit number. And if we cut off the tens digit, then also it is coming in different different numbers. Not in like this three six nine three six nine. Not like that. But now here we have to add the products. Like this. Now, if twelve one plus two, three comes. Fifteen means one plus five, six comes. Eighteen means one plus eight equal to nine. Now, here we can see three six nine three six nine. Again, if we add twenty one. Three will come. Then if we add twenty-four, six would come. And if we add twenty-seven, nine would come. And thirty, if we add three plus zero, three would come. So we can see now three six nine, three six nine, three six nine, three. So 
So after adding the digit, we could get it like that. So, so the rule of three is add the digits of the number. If the sum of the digit is divisible by three, the number is divisible by three. For the example, the first example is here. Seventy-two. Now we should add the digit seven plus two equal to nine. So yes, it is divisible. Go to the next number. That is fifty-one. Again yes. Yes, again yes. Five plus one six. Yes. Next example is sixty-eight. Six plus eight is fourteen. This is no. So the difference between the examples are here. When we add the digit, here we got nine. Here we got six. But here when we add fourteen came. So. It is not divisible. Understood? I think so, friends. You are understanding this concepts. If you have doubts, please comment. Okay. Okay. The next divisibility rule is nine. Okay. Okay, in the nine we can see nine ones are nine. They all are two digit. So we have to do like three times table. Just add one plus eight nine, two plus seven nine, three plus six nine, and if you add so on, all will be the all answer will be nine. Understood? Okay. So the rule is: if the sum of the digit is divisible by nine, then the number is divisible by nine. For example, seventy-two. Seven plus two is nine. Yes, it is divisible. Now fifty one five plus four nine again it is divisible sixty eight six plus eight fourteen is not divisible by nine so no these are the difference between these examples understood friends so. I think so. You have understand the divisibility rule of two, three, um, two, three, five, nine, and ten. So, if you have any doubt, please comment. And now we have a note to look. Note. A number divisible by nine also is also divisible by three. Understood? So if the number is divisible by nine, then the it will also be divisible by three. Okay. Okay. Now quickly let's check the rules of each tables. Okay, the two times table rule was: if the digit in the ones place of a number is even, such as zero, two, four, six, or eight, then the number is divisible by two. Five. The rule of five was: if the digit in the ones place of a number is zero or five, 
the number is divisible by 5 the divisibility rule of pell was if the digit in the ones place of a number is 0 the number is divisible by 10 now the divisibility rule of 3 was add the digit of the number if the sum of the digit is divisible by 3 the number is divisible by 3 rule of 9 if the sum of the digit is divisible by 9 then the number is divisible by 9 I think so you all learned all these concepts I think so it is a wide open time for today's class before going I am saying a thing if you like this video like share comment your doubts and feedback subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon and support thank you for watching